We begin with troubling new signs out of North Korea that point to another nuclear test. South Korea's top military official has confirmed that increased activities have been detected near the North's nuclear test site. Our Chi Yusun has more. South Korea's chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, Chung Seung Jo, says signs of constant activity have been spotted at North Korea's nuclear testing site in the country's far north. On board the U.S. nuclear powered submarine, the San Francisco, at the south's southeastern Chinhae port, ahead of an upcoming joint drill Thursday, General Chang then said the military is closely eyeing the movements as they could be a deception tactic by the North. He did say, however, that it's likely all that's needed now for the nuclear test to go forward is a green light from the leadership in Pyongyang and that the South Korean military is on 24-hour alert as it's difficult to detect an underground nuclear test. Other sources said on Friday that North Korea has covered the entrance to one of the tunnels at the testing site, likely in an attempt to hide activities from the prying eyes of satellites. Taking this into account, South Korean and U.S. intelligence officials believe the North is nearing an end to its test preparations. Some pundits say Pyongyang could be trying to confuse observers, just as it did in days leading up to the December 12th rocket launch. If the Kim Jong-un regime does carry out the highly anticipated test, the U.S. and its allies are expected to push for a much stronger sanctions against the country to further cut the regime off from the financial resources it uses for its nuclear and missile development. While both South Korea and the U.S. denied next week's joint naval exercise in the East Sea has any connection to North Korea's nuclear test, it's sure to send a warning to Pyongyang, which often denounces Seoul and Washington's regular training exercises. Choi Yusun, Arirang News.